Welcome back, Nerd Squad. My name is Amanda McKnight, and I will be your host for today's list. While we have seen a plethora of superhero shows, Arrowverse or otherwise, I want to know what your favorite is so far in the comments below. Mine is probably Netflix's Jessica Jones, though really the DC and Marvel TV world is getting so big that I'm almost finding it as hard to keep up with as all of the comics. We are talking 172 hours of aired TV just from 2015 to 2016, and Arrow has been around since 2010. Think of how many hours that show alone has aired. We have seen so many superheroes enter the CW Arrowverse in that time, but we are still left waiting for some to appear. With that being said, here is your top 10 characters that should enter the Arrowverse. Number 10. Harley Quinn. This acrobatic villain and often partner in crime to the Joker actually already made a cameo appearance in the Arrowverse in Arrow Season 2, Episode 14, albeit a very brief one. Very brief, as a matter of fact. In fact, the voice we hear does not match the physical form even. Harley's voice in the episode was provided by the amazing Tara Strong, while the actress that we catch a glimpse of in the scene is actually Cassidy Alexa. Unfortunately, chances are good we will never get to see Harley or any more of the Suicide Squad in the Arrowverse, due to the existence of the live action Suicide Squad film. The reason we didn't see more of Harley at the time apparently had to do with the incoming movie, but the film version has come and gone and it was uh, something. Um, the word unforgettable comes to my mind and not in the best way. So who knows, maybe we will see a return of Harley to the Arrowverse as well as a different take on the squad. Number 9. Poison Ivy How cool would it be to see this eco-terrorist in the show? Honestly, she is one of my favorite female characters in comics to this day. Even without Batman, I am sure there are ways Pamela could be introduced. As a villain, she is definitely strong enough to hold her own, and when you think about it, she is never really alone. She always has all of her plant children with her to keep her company and to strangle any humans who get in her way. Or in the environment's way. Wendy Miracle, executive producer for Arrow, has even been reported as saying before that she would love to see more female villains in the show, even going so far as to refer to Poison Ivy herself. But as with many television narratives, the progression and evolution of the story itself is what is most important to the Arrow production team. So Poison Ivy could happen, and in my opinion should happen, but Miracle has said it would just have to be the right time for the Arrowverse and makes sense. Number 8. Teen Titans With Titans the new live action series now out, there is always the possibility of a Teen Titans crossover, save for the fact that Titans is not part of the CW network. However, Green Arrow and the Teen Titans do have a villain in common, Deathstroke, who has already appeared in the Arrowverse. The reception for Titans has been iffy, with some critics praising the darker take on the team, and some thinking it is overdone, over violent, and over dramatic. Still, I think Seeing the Teen Titans, or as they're known now, just Titans, in the Arrowverse fighting together with Green Arrow, or maybe even clashing with him, would be intriguing. If anything, especially considering the difference in mood when it comes to these two different worlds. Number seven, Batman. A few months back, it was confirmed that Batman does exist in the CW Arrowverse, which came as no surprise. Honestly, I'm surprised it took them so long to confirm Batman's existence, with so many Batman Easter eggs lying in plain sight. Let's look at The Flash and Flashback to season one, episode 20, where we saw Wayne Tech as part of an article headline on a newspaper. Or more recently in episode 2 from season 6 of Arrow, when Oliver Queen literally makes a reference to Bruce Wayne, the secret identity of Gotham's Dark Knight. There have also been references made to the Bat in Supergirl and even Black Lightning's new show. Needless to say, with the new Batwoman show coming out as well, it would be super awesome to have at least one episode featuring Batman. Just one. Please? Number 6. Parallax I don't know how we make this work without Hal Jordan, but I would love to see the Arrowverse try. For those of you unfamiliar with Parallax, in the comic series Zero Hour Crisis in Time, Parallax is an alien entity that possesses Hal Jordan, tries to end the world, is deemed unredeemable, and as a result is taken out by Green Arrow, Hal's BFF. 
Wowza. This also meant the death of Hal Jordan in the comics, just for a while of course, and the temporary retirement of Green Arrow. This ancient alien parasite is intricately tied to the Green Lantern's lore, but I still think it would be a cool villain to try and bring in. There was an almost allusion to Parallax in Supergirl, as a new episode of Supergirl which has not yet aired was originally titled Parallax, though the episode name has since been changed to Parasite Lost. This episode is supposed to revolve around information being shared in regards to aliens who live amongst humans, which cause some unexpected problems. So I guess we'll see if they are maybe thinking of a way to introduce this fear feeding parasite into the Arrowverse. So I guess we'll see if they're maybe thinking of a way to introduce this fear promoting parasite into the Arrowverse. Number 5 Red Hood, aka Jason Todd, an adversary at one point to Green Arrow in the 2001 Green Arrow series, Jason Todd as the Red Hood would be an interesting villain to pop up. I'm not asking for a whole slew of Red Hood episodes, I'm just asking for a guest star appearance or a short recurring role here. There has already been a reference to Jason in the show when Roy Harper adopted the name briefly after leaving Star City. I'm thinking they entertained the notion of turning him into the Red Hood and the idea got scrapped. Phew. Thank goodness. However, Jason Todd and Green Arrow would make great adversaries, and I think give us a great fight, should the show want to introduce the character of Red Hood. If you don't believe me, check out issue 71 from the 2001 comic series Green Arrow. Number 4, Mr. Freeze. More Batman villains potentially coming our way, and not a bad in sight. I want to see The Flash take on Mr. Freeze, because he is basically just a better Captain Cold. And Captain Cold is already a great adversary for The Flash. If you are into seeing these two tango, there is some promising news. It has been confirmed that we will be seeing Victor Fry's wife in the Arrowverse, who is set to be played by Cassandra Jean Arnell. This could mean that we may get to meet her husband, Victor, aka Mr. Freeze, as well. Or not. At the very least, it is nice to think we may actually get to see Nora outside of her tank for a change. Number three, Birds of Prey. So we met Huntress and Black Canary, and even Catwoman and Vixen have made it into the Arrowverse, but where is Oracle? Although the character has been alluded to in Arrow, Barbara Gordon, aka Oracle, has yet to appear. If we could just get her involved, maybe we could have some Birds of Prey storylines. We already know of Oracle's existence in the verse due to Oliver making reference to the name already being taken and instead bestowing the codename Overwatch to their Arrow team tech whiz, Felicity Smoke. Although there is an episode titled Birds of Prey in Season 2 of Arrow, the episode only features two of the three original team members, Black Canary and Huntress, and is more about a feud between them than them teaming up to take down any baddies. Number 2 Black Lightning So CW just gave this hero his own TV show as well, which would normally mean he is a character already in the Arrowverse. and should not be on the list. Wrong. CW has confirmed the opposite of what we were all hoping for. Black Lightning is not considered part of the Arrowverse. Wah, wah. CW has said they do not want to create a five way TV show verse slash crossover and will be keeping Black Lightning at arm's length for now. The for now meaning we could potentially see Black Lightning join the Arrowverse eventually. Number one. Green Lantern. The guy it feels like we have all been waiting for. Green Arrow was the first big superhero to create this verse, and it should only be fitting that seeing his best friend, Hal Jordan, the Green Lantern, join him would be phenomenal. While we have seen a few easter eggs hinting to the existence of Hal in the verse, he has yet to show up. Namely, his name appearing on the Justice League phone and his name appearing on a bomber jacket worn by a man who walks past Oliver Queen in a bar in season 4 episode 1 of Arrow. Most recently we have seen a potential strong Green Lantern connection pop up in the show Black Lightning. Though as I said before, this show is not part of the Arrowverse. Black Lightning's ex-wife in the show, Lynn Stewart Pierce, has been speculated since she was first introduced in the 1977 Black Lightning comic series as the sister of another Green Lantern, John Stewart. Unfortunately, DC writers have confirmed that Lynn is neither the sister of John, nor are they intending for her to become the sister of John later in the comics. Still, whether all of these connections will amalgamate into a Green Lantern Corps spin-off or an introduction to at least one Green Lantern in the verse eventually, 
Only time will tell. Woo! I hope you are feeling ready to keep your eyes open for more Easter eggs that might lead us to some more of the most wanted characters for this Arrowverse. I know I certainly am. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click that thumbs up and smash that subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of our nerd content. Let me know in the comments below who your favorite character in the show is so far. Or if there is a superhero or villain who you would love to see join the verse that maybe didn't make the cut. This is Top 10 Nerd, I'm Amanda McKnight saying thanks for watching and encouraging you to stay nerdy.